Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. In this month's edition of iPad Monthly, we're looking at some wonderful uh, web-based resources, so not applications that we can use in the classroom. And we've got one here for you. Uh, Quiz is, uh, I guess, an alternative to Kahoot. Um, fantastic, works beautifully um, in Safari as a web browser. Uh, fantastic kind of quiz type um, application that we can actually use. And we're just gonna have a look at it today. You can see there, there's a whole lot of public quizzes um, that you could do with your students. Today, we're just gonna have a quick look at creating our own. So you can see at the top right-hand corner there, I have logged in um, because I really want to create some quizzes myself. I also want it to generate some reports and so forth. So um, would suggest as a teacher that you did create an account and actually logged in so your students um, can get the most out of this experience. And we're just gonna create our own quiz. Uh, so I've just clicked on create my own quiz um, and we might actually create a, a prototype kind of quiz on animals, English. Let's make this private for now. We can certainly import files and, and do some different things with pictures. And you can see there, the, the actual um, questions and the, the interface is really, really easy to use. Um, it saves as we go, we can finish, we have a look at our um, different uh, question preview. Let's do it, uh, you know, what uh, is the fastest uh, animal on earth? Question mark. And you can see there, I get a little preview there. We can put um, our different options in and we can actually put incorrect or correct. Uh, we can change the text a little bit. Uh, we can present new questions, really, really easy. We can search for questions that might have to do with our topic and actually kind of embed them inside our quiz as well. And at the end of it, um, when we've actually finished, uh, we can just finish, get a, a room number or a code as they call it. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, that you can actually put in your code and you can actually start interacting with other quizzes, with live leaderboards, or once again, as I said there, fantastic to have teachers creating their own personalized content for their students, just so they can customize it a little bit better in regard to the types of questions that you actually want answers to. Um, so this is just a fantastic alternative to, to Kahoot. It's all web-based. I've actually been using this just without the app itself and actually just using it online and actually generating my questions and then my students just go to the home page. They don't need to log in unless I kind of um, want some more information there. But at the moment, I'm generating some reports just with students using um, quizzes without the actual logon. So this is a fantastic research uh, resource for uh, iPads. Um, I'd like to thank Tony Vincent uh, just for passing this on. I was unaware of that it actually existed. And so big shout out to Tony. Check out his Instagram uh, page, which you can find in the iPad Monthly next to this tutorial. And um, yeah, good luck. Start creating some, some interactive lessons, some interactive quizzes. Fantastic tool for formative feedback, um, getting an idea of how your kids are actually learning and what they're learning, and then being able to adjust your learning experiences for your students according to the results that they're actually giving you, which I think is what assessment is all about. Not getting a grade at the end, but actually uh, identifying where your kids are sitting at in regards to their knowledge and understanding, and then planning a pathway forward for your students. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.